And my engineer is Nate, Nate Smith, and we are live, I am told. So if you are watching, welcome to Mechanicsburg. Uh, it's a beautiful day for more than one reason. It's a beautiful day because the sun's out, the temperature is perfect, and we are doing another God moment at Mission Central uh, to make the long story short. So if you're watching, welcome. Uh, we are still getting used to some new technology. Um, Ashley Brooks is on the camera. Uh, she's tinkering. I'm on the microphone. I'm tinkering. So this is a tinkering affair, you might be able to say. Uh, but welcome, and we're going to have a great time today celebrating a God moment at Mission Central. Uh, this is a long story uh, in that it began quite some time ago with the MRI unit that's standing in back of me. Uh, a lot of us for a lot of months have watched this unit and, and trying to ponder what in the world will be the fate of the MRI unit. It was scheduled for another, another location um, in another part of the world. Uh, that fell through for some reason and suddenly it didn't have a potential home. In the meantime, God was still at work and uh, it worked out that Honduras was very, very interested in this MRI unit. There is not, as I understand, a mobile MRI unit in the whole country of Honduras, and this will become the only one. And the folks involved with Mission Central and our wide community are responsible for this gift, which we'll talk about the particulars later. Um, but it's a real blessing, and there will be a lot of lives, I'm sure, saved in the, in the country of Honduras because this unit will arrive and I'm not sure how long. From here it goes by truck to Tampa, Florida. There it will be loaded on a ship and you will hear some noise in the background because Mission Central is a working affair even today while we're celebrating. So you'll hear some noise but have, perhaps not be too, too distracted by that. I'm gonna wait a moment. Okay, I'm gonna nab some people as they go by to talk to uh, right now that, that I've said that, uh, there is nobody here <laughs> that I can talk to. So I am filling time just like, as I, just like I thought I would be doing. Um, I want to I talk to a few people today. Uh, first of all, we want to talk to Rob Vischer, who is the executive director of Mission Central. Um, he'll have some, uh, I hope, can give us the scope of Mission Central. Let me tell you a story that's personal, but I'll share it with you. Um, I was blessed, as some others will be in the audience here today, to be part of the formation task force for Mission Central. Uh, in those early years, I don't know that we knew exactly what Mission Central was supposed to be. That was sort of up to God, to be honest about it. Uh, and and we're, we were willing to um, go along with God's idea. Um, I remember the night or the evening that at annual conference 2002, the election to go ahead with this project, which had taken some, a variety of directions even since the time we conceived the idea through God's spirit. Um, the vote as, as I remember, and, and someone determined that it was true, that it was the most unanimous vote for anything that had ever been cast in the former Central Pennsylvania Conference and now the Susquehanna Conference. I had to come back to the conference offices, which were just about a half a mile up the road. And um, I pulled into the parking lot here at Mission Central. <coughs> and I just stared at the building for a while, wondering what in the world the future of this place would be. Because I'm not sure that anybody was aware of what the future was going to be exactly. And I can remember the moment because it was a God moment. Um, the conference had come so solidly in back of the idea that it was uh, heartwarming to say the least. So that's a fond memory of mine. I'm hoping that I can find a few, a few people to talk to you to, today about their God moments associated with this project. Uh, but that's mine to start out things. Um, Dave Negley, can you talk to me? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nab somebody that I've found walking by who's busy, but he'll take a moment to talk. Uh, Dave Negley, and I should be able to give you his exact title with, you, with the organization. It's at Mission Central, you'll see Dave walking around here. He does a lot of great things, um, and um, I'll get his, uh, his heart and spirit today. 
Come on over here on this side of me, Dave. Oh, okay. Yeah. Welcome, brother. We see a lot of each other here, don't we? We sure do. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you what's going on in your heart today, and you well, shared a couple things with me that I think our people ought to hear. I did indeed. Um, this will be the 748th day the MRI trailer's been with us. Um, we received it August 29th in the year 2010, and there have been a lot of uh, stops and starts, as you know, Jerry. And uh, I was just sharing with him that there's one saying in the world that came to mind, and that saying is, uh, no good deed goes unpunished. Everybody's heard that one, right? But uh, God's been in this thing from the very beginning, and that led me to some scripture of the Apostle Paul writing a letter to the uh, Galatians. And he finished up with uh, a word of encouragement that I think is uh, very apropos to the efforts here. And that word was, weary not in well-doing, for in due season you will reap if you faint not. Now, there have been some fainting. Well, there have been a lot of lightheaded moments and some swooning, but we fainted not, and we are ready to pass that baton forward and uh, get this asset on its way, and we feel blessed to be able to do that. Tell me what your exact title is here. I, um, I do facilities. My nickname's number five. In the job description where you have specific duties you're responsible for, and five is any and other duties as assigned by the executive director, blah, 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 blah. So I'm number five. <laughs> Dave, thanks very much. Thanks. God bless you for all your work. Oh, you've Appreciate been a blessing a too. Thank you. Dave Negley, you will find him here at all hours. Sometimes I have to enter this building at some strange hours of the evening, and Dave will still be here working. So I'm sure that Mission Central gets full value out of Dave Negley. I've enjoyed his friendship. I have a few onlookers. Um, uh, go give me a pan shot of uh, Larry and Nate. Um, Larry and Nate are our IT guys from the um, conference center. And when you can find them on camera, uh, I, gave, I gave Ashley a... <laughs> she may fall off. She may fall off the stand. Ashley, how you doing? I got a thumbs up. And you ought to see Dave and Larry, I think, in your screens. Um, this idea to, to uh, live stream today actually came on Monday, this past Monday. And I went to Nate's office. Um, I have known that if you go to Nate's office with an idea, he will do the best to accommodate you, even though he thinks you're nuts. So I said, you've been talking about this streaming module that's available that anywhere you can pick up a, a Wi-Fi signal you can be on air in a matter of minutes so he ordered it his first re his first response was that it would be shipped as soon as possible Tuesday we heard nothing Wednesday we heard it will get to your place on Monday that was too late so I said simply in my mind to God this is your ball game <laughs> I'm out of it I can't work miracles, but if you need a miracle here, you can work it out. I don't know that I have the circumstances exactly right, Nate, but a short time later you said, well, it seems like it's out for delivery. Uh, and a short while later, Larry brought it to me down here in Mission Central and had it in hand. And that was yesterday. So we've been tinkering with getting this whole thing to work. And I'm not looking at it, but Nate's looking at it, and apparently it's working well. So thanks to Larry and Nate, for pulling this whole thing together. You always come through. I don't know that I've ever seen you fail, to be honest with you. <laughs> so thanks again. Now, Ashley, if you can swing it around to me, I have Marsha Fisher who's coming here to talk to us. Marsha is chair of the board of directors. I think she'll be a good person to talk to. Marsha, come on down. This sounds like a TV game show. Come on down. Good to, see you. good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Marcia is a kingpin. I told you she is chair <laughs> of the board of directors. And uh, I'd like to find out a little bit about what's going on in your heart today, Marcia. You've got to have a lot of things. Oh, uh, my heart about. is very full right now. Uh, we've waited for two years to see this come to fruition. 
And the beautiful part of this for me is that uh, in my past life, I had the Teamsters Credit Union as my place of employment. And I can honestly say that as much work as we've put into this, everyone included, we would not be here today starting off without a truck driver who is going to drive this piece of equipment from here to Tampa, Florida. I hate to interrupt, but is he here and will we get to yes, talk to him? Yes, he is here. If he's not shy, I'm sure he'd be happy to say, make comment to that. But it, for me, it's just very significant because I come from a, a trucking background with my family. And to see that that element is playing a part in this is very special to me. Wonderful. And uh, there are so many people here today who have had a role to play. And it just keeps me very mindful of, of how God works with each and every one of us to do his work. And we certainly will demonstrate that here today. We have no idea who's watching us today, but anything else you want to share with us? Well, I would share that uh, if you like what you see today as far as the role that Mission Central is playing to keep us in mind and uh, understand, please understand that this warehouse and everything that happens here is through your support, your financial support, as well as through your resources. And if you go online, um, as you are, that you will understand and come to know how you can contribute to this wonderful ministry. Wonderful. Marcia, thank you. Thank you. God thank bless you. you for your work. Um, Marcia Fisher. Rob. Rob Vischer. Fisher and Vischer. Boy, that's tough on the... <laughs> that's tough on the telephone sometime. T sometimes, I'm sure. Those two are very alike. I'd like to introduce... Um, Rob Vischer, who's executive director of Mission Central. And Rob, I've, I asked Marcia, but I, it, I'm asking all of you the same thing. There's a lot of things going on through your mind today. So would you like to share some of that with us? Well, it's kind of like that day you've been waiting for the baby to arrive. In this case, it's for the baby to go. Uh, this has been a two-year process, and we've had uh, some bumps along the road, but a lot of blessings, and it's been exciting to... Uh, see this journey unfold and to get to this point today uh, where this unit will be going to Honduras uh, leaving uh, tomorrow morning early uh, and then uh, going to Tampa and going on a ship from there to Honduras to bless those folks that so desperately need this type of equipment to save lives. Uh, you have an audience. I have no idea how many people, but what do you want to tell them? <laughs> well, they're, this, they're is, your, this is one of those moments captive. where they're we've yours. culminated connecting God's resources with human need. Uh, as you and I have talked, Jerry, you see those little pieces of connections that happen and then they blossom or uh, sort of like a domino effect also where they start tipping other, other connections and so you can see it happen. So where we've connected this huge resource uh, with God's folks that are in need uh, because it was brought to us and then we helped to work those connections to, to uh, get it to Honduras. So uh, let's talk about some of those connections. Uh, made a connection with the ambassador to Honduras who visited us. Yeah, yeah the that. ambassador from Honduras visited us last November that that was a key uh, role in helping us to get this rolling. Uh, also we were able to then through our connections connect to other humanitarian uh, agencies that are already on the ground in um, in Honduras and of course know how to work the system as you all know when you're working overseas you're dealing with different governments and different ways of doing things sometimes but uh, all in the good faith effort that we're all trying to help those in need and so uh, it's been neat to see that happen and as as a result of that connection started with this we were also able to do some other humanitarian work in Honduras for example last December, the ambassador wanted to send a container uh, to help the folks that had lost so much in the devastating floods there.
And so he arranged for many of the materials and got them sent here to Mission Central and the container came and we were able to load that in. But as a portion of that, we were able to uh, send UMCOR uh, materials, but also uh, a Mission Central kit, which is candy kits. Uh, we were able to send 3,000 of those for the children there uh, and they were all uh, Christmas wishes in Spanish for them. I didn't tell you I was going to ask you this, uh, <laughs> but occasionally you give us reports of that the, about scope of the activity in this building in a, in a year's time or something. Mm -hmm. Can you put in a nutshell what kind of activity we see going in and out of Mission Central in a year's time or, or another sure. time frame? Uh, in a year's time, between 9 and $10 million worth of material goes through this warehouse to help folks in need. And at this point already, that be the end of August, our last report, we had done over $5 million worth of material already this year. Another statistic we've added this year that we had not been tracking before, we've really tried to track the number of lives that are touched by that. And to date, for this year alone, it's over 800,000 lives that have been touched by the materials that go through this warehouse to help those in need. That doesn't count the thousands of volunteers that come and work and the thousands of hours that are put in to assist that. And, and then on top of that, those lives that are changed, we see folks' lives transform because they're able to come here and to work and put their faith into action. You see that transformation as well as those that are uplifted from what we do here. Sure. Yeah. Anything and, else you want to add? Uh, <laughs> stay tuned for this ceremony. We're really looking forward to that and to uh, just we already know it's blessed by God, but it's, it's, it's really nice to do the ceremonial act of actually laying our hands on this unit and blessing it to uh, the furthering of God's kingdom to lift God's children. Rob. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Good talking to you. God bless you. All right. I did learn something that I didn't know. I thought we were going to be able to watch this unit roll out of here today, but I'm finding out that doesn't happen until tomorrow. So that's all right whenever, just so it happens, right? Uh, where is Dave? Uh, maybe you can find him. I'd love to talk to him if we can. Uh, let me say something else too. Um, if all goes well, we may actually have some people in Honduras watching this today. Um, my sister Doris Fredrickson, who lives in Virginia, who Marcia has met, um, is very busy in Honduras, probably about six times a year, she runs uh, more than one medical mission uh, to Honduras where she gets 16 people together, including some medical folks who set up medical clinics in the country of Honduras. Um, I talked to her on the phone last night and she was hoping that she would be able to watch streaming today. So Doris, if you're there, we're going to wave and say hello <laughs> to all of our friends in Honduras if you're there. And if you're not, we're with you in spirit. Uh, so who else have we got to talk to? All right, we're working on it. Uh, let's talk about some connect numbers. We've talked about, if you don't know anything about Mission Center, or even if you do, the best place to go to find out more is to go to missioncentral.org, missioncentral, one word, dot org. Lots of great information on the website. Uh, information for how you can get involved. Uh, my best advertisement for Mission Central is if you want a good night's sleep, come, at work, come and work at Mission Central. For more than one reason. The obvious reason is that you work hard and you're tired. But the second reason is that there's nothing like a night's sleep after you have done some work during your day that made somebody's life, no matter where it is around the globe, you made that life better and you made that life more comfortable with the future. So good advice on how to get a good night's sleep is to come work in Mission Central. Oh, I've got a, I've got a, uh, I've got a speaker. Dave, welcome. Sure. <laughs> Why don't you come around on this side for me? Good, good, to see good to see you. You and I have only met once before, but I did recognize you when I saw you today. Dave, what's going on? My, my question has been standard for everybody. What's going on in your head today? Oh, it's, a, it's an exciting day, and uh, it's, it's really a day that's just filled with... Uh, God's love and mercy that God can work through so many people, um, through so many different volunteer organizations and, and, and Mission Central to, to bring about uh, just the change of a life, just, just even if it's only one life in, 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 in Honduras through uh, this gift that has been made by so many. So from your vantage point, tell me how this thing comes about. 
Uh, the, um, the gift originally came from a hospital in Massachusetts and uh, as you see uh, Alliance uh, Imaging uh, gifted this to uh, Radiology Without Borders from Dr. Tariq Gill's organization and um, uh, from there we, uh, we joined with uh, Mission Central and some other NGOs and faith-based organizations to try to find the right home and to try to uh, determine um, where logistically that this would work best and where we could sustain the gift and provide the training and uh, about a year and a half ago it was determined that uh, uh, Hospital Escuela, which is the public teaching hospital in, in Honduras, was, uh, was the, the landing place uh, for this wonderful gift. Wonderful. Uh, there's going to be folks watching who don't know what an MRI unit is. Put that in layman's term, layperson's term. Well, I, 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 I would certainly suggest that you talk to Dr. Gill, who's around the corner. He, he, is, he, is, he, is, he is the radiologist, and he will do a much better job of explaining what an MRI is. Um, but essentially, it, it, allows, it allows for images, images of, it's, it's, it's a wonderful gift that uh, medicine has been given um, to assist doctors in going well beyond the normal x-ray to, to, to look at a knee or a cervical spine or whatever it, whatever it might be to, to allow you know, much, much quicker treatment for a number of different, uh, um, different infirmities. Well, there are a lot of people around here who are grateful for your work in this project, and uh, God bless you for that. Well, I, and, 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 and God bless um, the wonderful people here at Mission Central. So, Thanks. Thank you, Jared. Good talk to you, Dave. Talk to you. Yeah. Dave Kern, um, Dr. Gill is here, and we will get to talk. <laughs> Dr. Gill, Jerry Walgermuth, great to Jerry, get Jerry to learn Gill. to know good you to and, you, and welcome here. Thank you, good to be here. Um, I asked your predecessor here to yes. explain an MRI to me and yes. he struggled a bit. Okay. Now let's, let's step forward this way just a little bit. Uh, you struggled a little bit with that explanation for a lay person to understand. Right. And I'm going to give you a chance to do a little better. How will that be? Okay. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do my very best to to make it very simple, right. if I can. Thank Although, as a radiologist, sometimes we make uh, simple things very complicated. <laughs> okay. So, um, MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Uh, it's a modality that's used to picture, take pictures of the inside of the human body, uh, whether that be brain or liver or other uh, organs in, 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 in the abdomen. The MRI uses electromagnetic waves as opposed to radiation which is usually employed with CAT scans and x-ray. So this is non-x-ray electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic va waves are used to stimulate the protons in your body. Okay, They are aligned a certain way when all of us are sitting moving around. The application of electromagnetic waves excites the protons, and then these protons basically start to relax as soon as the electromagnetic waves are actually removed. That relaxation induces a current, and that current, through a very complicated process, makes an image. And it's an image, I think the important thing to, to know is that the images that are generated by this kind of equipment is, it's, it's like looking into a human body as if you have just cut open the body, but actually without slicing into the body. So that's how, the, how exquisite the detail is of, uh, of the pictures that are obtained with this technology. It's exciting to understand that. Well, actually it's a, it's, it's a very exciting technology and I'm pretty sure this time of the year with baseball and football seasons that are ongoing, you know this is a this is a term that's very commonly used uh, by commentators. As the players get injured, they always make a reference that the player is going to have an MRI on Monday. Um, it's never available on Sunday, at least to these people who are high-priced people. I don't know why, but <laughs> there are MRIs that are open 24/7. So, yeah. Sure. Now your work is with. Am I right? Physicians without borders. Radiologists without Radiologists. borders. Get yes. the wrong first yes. word. 
Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, that's your primary work? That is uh, actually, it's, this is a not-for-profit organization that I started back in 2008. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went through some bureaucratic complications in the state of New York because the state of New York does not allow you to be not-for-profit and practice your trade. So the way it started, I was reading um, x-rays and some other procedures for a small town in Chile. So they would actually do these pictures, then send it to a server and bring them to New York, and I would look at these pictures and give my interpretation. The problem with that activity was, number one, the state of New York did not approve of that because I was practicing my trade, which happened to be radiology. On the other hand, we had similar complications in Chile. Majority of the physicians in Chile work for the government, and I obviously did not seek their permission. So despite the fact it was a good thing, the clinic otherwise would not have gotten any coverage from a radiologist. They didn't have a radiologist. They couldn't afford to have a radiologist. That service was brought to a halt. So we went through, we became politically and savvy, and so we started seeking permissions from the government. One, number two, we moved our entity to Florida and filed there, and Florida does not really care if you are not for profit and and practice your trade. So um, the organization is really a grassroots effort. Basically, it's people that I have worked with in the hospitals uh, for the last 35 years. Um, you know, this is close to a million dollar machine that was given to us basically for free. Um, one, it was a great gesture. I, I, I can't imagine, you know, getting a donation like this. But again, it was it was for a good cause and and based on long long term relationships that we've had with in our practice. Dr. Gill, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your work. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Yeah, thank you for all your help. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, one more thing. Ashley, lock your camera down and come down here. These folks have got to see who's on the camera. And Sharon, why don't you come down at the same time? Uh, I've got uh, we've got a communication group that uh, I value on a daily basis for the things they get done for us. Um, the conference center is located about a half a mile that direction. That's where we reside, but we get around and we have a great relationship with uh, Mission Central and are happy to do some work for them. Ashley does some design work and occasionally we do some work up at the conference office in promotion, etc. So I want you to at least see them on camera while we're waiting for things. What time is it, by the way? It is two o'clock. Aha, uh -huh. we are on top of things here. But let's do a quick show up. Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> they're, be they're both being bashful. I happen to know they're not bashful at all. Uh, in the black is Sharon Keyball, And in the multicolors is Ashley Brook Brooks, plural, uh, <laughs> who um, uh, work in the communications area. Uh, Ashley does a lot of video. Uh, we have a studio in the corner of this uh, Mission Central building, and Ashley spends a lot of her time there. So thanks to both of you. Bye-bye. All right, we'll get the show starting. Pardon? Did you say that she's taking pictures? Yes, she is taking pictures. That's right. That's what the camera's for, That's what right? The camera's for. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both. All right, we are on 2 o'clock. Um, let's see what's about to happen here. Welcome. Thank you for coming this afternoon to this momentous occasion for uh, Mission Central as we bless this unit uh, to go and to bless the lives of people in Honduras uh, with much needed life caring, uh, life saving equipment. Uh, I'm Reverend Rob Bishop, the Executive Director of Mission Central, and we're glad that you're here today and we're glad for our audience that is joining us uh, live on the internet streaming. Uh, with saying that, and welcome to this event today, I'd like to uh, introduce our uh, Board of Directors President, Ms. Marcia Fisher. Uh, she's going to come and uh, bring some words to you. Welcome. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What a perfect way to begin this this presentation today because it is indeed a day where Mission Central <laughs> <laughs> has accomplished a great deed 
Mission Central is about receiving resources and redistributing them, both locally, nationally, and internationally. We have worked with uh, many people to make this day come into place with where we are here today. This is the end of our journey by supplying and providing the means to take this MRI to Honduras. But it is but a new beginning for the people of Honduras who will benefit by this vital service that, that we are going to provide. Mission Central played a small part in this. Play your own small part into being a volunteer to do Mission Central's work. You can all be proud to have had the experience today to see that this piece of equipment will go off to do good works. I'm sure God is smiling on us today, and he has truly played a great part in seeing this day come into so I invite you to keep this experience in your prayers, share the good news of what is happening here today, and encourage your friends to support missions, especially Mission Central, with your financial support as well as your hands and feet for Christ. May you enjoy this presentation and take it in your heart and be blessed by it. Thank you. Thank you, Marsha. This indeed has been a long journey for us at Mission Central, uh, over two years. Uh, I've been the executive director here not quite two years, so I joined the journey quite early on, uh, about six weeks after it began. But um, I'd like to invite now uh, Mr. Dave Kerr to come and speak with you. He's been our key uh, person in helping us uh, work through all of these uh, issues to get this to Honduras. I'd like to first thank Mission Central for the, your compassion uh, for the people of Honduras, uh, for each and every patient who will be uh, ministered and uh, receive diagnosis and treatment through uh, this, this MRI. As Pastor Rob has said, it's taken 26 uh, months. And it was not long ago I was talking to a, a close friend who is a uh, uh, brother in the faith, uh, does a lot of work in Haiti, and I told him, he asked me about the MRI trailer, and I said, oh, you know, it's taken 26 months to get there. And um, Dr. Bonet said to me, he said, well, he said, uh, how's it getting there? And I said, it's getting there on a ship. <coughs> he said, no, how is it getting there? And I said, I said, it's being pulled there. And he said, on what kind of roads? And I stopped and I started to think about that. And I realized 26 months ago, the road from the port where this MRI will come was not completed. In fact, it was not completed until a couple of months ago. So God works in his own timing. And through this, God has worked with so many of us to join in the fellowship of, of Christ. And there have been so many faces of Christ along the way. And as Pastor Rob has said, the journey has just started. We ask for your prayers as we begin the process of, of getting the MRI to Honduras. We ask your prayers for, for our friend uh, Earl Martin, who, whose company will be taking it to Tampa for shipping, but he also will be driving it. So Earl, you have our prayers. We, we, thank, um, we thank Mr. Jim Phillips and Dr. Barry Sorrells, who are great missionaries to Honduras who have helped give us the, the vision. And um, I know you will hear from, from Dr. Gill, but I thank Dr. Gill for giving me the opportunity to, to be a part of, uh, of this team. So all along the way, there have been faces, faces of Christ. And that's what it's all about, is faces of Christ. And we pray that this MRI will be part of the face of Christ uh, at 
Hospital of Scuola. Thank you. I'd like to invite now Dr. Gill to come and give some remarks. He is the head of radiologists without borders, the humanitarian uh, agency that uh, we have linked with to have this unit here. Thank you, Pastor Rob. Friends, colleagues, or as my grandmother would say, God's hands on earth. People who have known me for, for some time, they know that I'm never short of words, but today, it doesn't really matter what I say, it's probably not going to express the gratitude that I have in my heart for what Mission Central has done for Radiographic Border and eventually people of Honduras. Marshall, you were being too humble when you said you played a small role. There's no way I could put this, put this in anybody's driveway. <laughs> so, thank you, thank you, and thank you. I know I'm expected to be brief, but I have to tell you a story, because it's a very touching story. Back in March, when Dave Kerr and I were visiting Hospital Escuela in Honduras, which is the largest public hospital in the capital city of Tegucigalpa, we met with the health minister, we met with some very pe important people, people with influence and affluence, and also there was a gentleman in that crowd that was extremely interested in talking to us about this equipment. So eventually I found out that he was one of the foundation directors, foundation of the hospital, and he told us a story. He told us that when his daughter was three years old, she had a malformation in her brain and it bled. There was no way to take care of that condition in Honduras. They had influence and affluence, so they were able to take this child to Miami in a big medical center. And while this gentleman was strolling the hallways of that hospital alone, with nobody who could console him at a time such as that, he vowed that someday he was going to bring this technology to Honduras. Now that story on its own was touching enough as a parent, listening to another parent. Then David Kerr looks at me and says, you know, this magnet was actually being put together and assembled right about the time when this girl was in the hospital. So you're absolutely right, David. It's, it's as my grandmother used to say, life is all scripted. You come across God's hands on earth and they somehow carry you from point A to point B. I really want to thank all of you. And I want to thank you on behalf of people of Honduras. And yes, we will have some pictures uh, that, were, that will be coming your way in a few months from now, but I tell you, the pictures are not going to do the justice. As a result of this technology that you and I take actually for granted every day, men, women, and children of all ages are going to be able to get a diagnosis which is going to be at a point when their condition is treatable. So thank you. So don't cut yourself short. What you have done means a lot to me at a personal level, and I'll be personally indebted to you ever. All I can do is pray for all of you. God bless you, God bless your families, and God bless your community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Gill. Now I'd like to invite uh, Ms. Carmen Morales to come to the podium, and she is a friend of one of our board members, and she has graciously agreed to offer in uh, her first language, Spanish, a blessing and prayer for this unit, for the people of Honduras. First of all, good afternoon to everyone. Um, Said, we're gonna go ahead and do a blessing and I'm gonna go in Spanish. And uh, please bear with me. Padre Amado y Todo Poderoso, te pedimos que bendigas esta unidad, que toque todas las personas que sean necesarias, que ayude a las personas en Tegucigalpa, en el hospital escuela. Bendice a las personas, los profesionales que van a trabajar con ella, que permitas que lleguen al, al fondo, que ayuden a las más personas posibles. Pero por favor, también bendice a los que aquí trabajaron para ayudar a que la máquina fuera el camino. Permite que llegue sana y salva 
y que nos ayude, ayude a todos y que de una manera u otra nos toque a todos de nuestro corazón. En Padre, en nombre de nuestro Padre amado pedimos. Amén. Now I've asked uh, Reverend Ruth Ward, uh, one of our dedicated volunteers here at Mission Central, who uh, works in our administration department now, uh, to come and to lead us in anointing this unit uh, for the people of Honduras. Thank you, Father. The blessing takes part actually in two ways. One, we will do a responsive reading in which your response is, we give you thanks, O oh God. As I read a number of statements, you will respond in that way. And then we'll pause, and I have uh, anointing oil. And I'm going to anoint the trailer. And when I do, I will ask any of you who want to, to come and put your hands on the trailer. Often in the life of the church, we bring people together in the front of the sanctuary and we lay on hands and offer a prayer of blessing, either because it's a time of transition, a time of prayer for healing. And so by coming and laying our hands on this trailer, we in effect are laying our hands on the folks in Honduras who will be receiving this unit. So when it's time for the anointing, I'll ask any of you who want to to come and just put your hands on this trailer at any point. But for now, we'll respond, we give you thanks, O oh God. For this day and the gift of this mobile, a gift of this mobile MRI machine, we give you thanks, O oh God. For Mission Central's caring for this machine for two years. We give you thanks, O oh God. For Alliance Healthcare's gift to radiology without borders. We give you thanks, O oh God. For the people of Honduras and Hospital Escuela who will receive it. We give you thanks, O God. For Earl who will drive it to Tampa. We give you thanks, O God. For all those who will learn from this MRI machine and all whose lives will benefit from its diagnostic abilities. We give you thanks, O God. I invite you now to come and lay hands on this trailer. Thank you all for coming today. Uh, before we go, uh, I want to thank uh, Jerry Wogamuth and his team who have uh, graciously uh, provided the uh, live streaming for us today. i uh, also like to thank all of the volunteers that worked here today to help set up for this event. The volunteers over the last two years that have done something, I'm sure, that led up to this event. Also, my staff, who so dedicatedly supports me and the directives that I give and the board gives, and a special thanks to uh, Dave Bagley, who was the main caretaker and feeder of this unit while it was here. Uh, we especially to Dave. And uh, maybe there'll be more stories about that. I know he was interviewed earlier. Thank you all for coming, and God bless. Go with. The blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May you be faithful servants of Jesus Christ in whom we serve every day. Amen. Amen. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Earl Martin, or introduce Earl Martin to you, however you want to look at that. Uh, thanks for talking with me for a couple of minutes. Um, first of all, tell me who you are, and you, as I understand, own a trucking company. Is that right? I do, yes. I'm... I'm uh, from East Earl, Pennsylvania, we uh, operate primarily a petroleum 
transportation company, but we also have a dry bulk division hauling animal and poultry feeds, as well as uh, we do some dry bulk, some dry freight hauling as well. Now I understand you're going to back up to this unit tomorrow with a, with a, with a tractor and you're going to pull this to Tampa, Florida, is that right? That's my plans. How did you happen to get involved doing that? For a number of years we've been hauling into, into Bethesda Mission from uh, Clorox in uh, Aberdeen, Maryland. We bring probably a couple load a month in. We've been doing that for a number of years and that's how they got in contact with us. Wonderful. Um, I have a feeling that there's another reason you agreed to do that. Well, I'll tell you, the, the, the reason we agreed to do that, uh, I often think of the, <clears throat> of the time, <clears throat> excuse me, of the time when uh, Jesus was asked, who is, who, who is my neighbor? And we know clearly by Jesus' response to him that it doesn't matter down the street, whether you're partway across the country or whether you're, whether you're across the ocean, if the Lord has made it available to you to bless someone wherever they are, I, I believe you have a responsibility to do that. And when uh, Dave wondered whether we would be willing to take that down, why I just felt it was something I would like to do. I think it was something that the Lord wanted me to do. Wonderful. So we covet your prayers as I travel. I don't do a lot of driving anymore. So I ask that you would ask the Lord to give me uh, a clear vision and a steady hand and, and uh, safety to reach the port of Tampa. God bless you, Earl. It's good to meet you. Nice to meet and uh, God bless you for taking this project on. I'm honored to do Good that. to talk to you. Glad Thank to you. Well, uh, it's probably wrap-up time here, folks. This was our first experiment with streaming with this particular unit. We have a couple bugs, but we think we can get those worked out. And if you have watched this, we hope you have enjoyed it and uh, have felt the spirit that was true here, that was uh, evident here today. And uh, we look forward to your involvement in Mission Central. Uh, remember that if you want to learn about this place, go to missioncentral.org. Lots of information, lots of ways for you to become involved in the work of Mission Central. So I'm going to say so long for Mechanicsburg. It's been great to be with you. God bless you.